We are actually giving them the chance to be operated by a very good surgeon. So I would say that we are taking uh, maximal care to our patients. So Alberto, where are we here? All right, so good morning. We are in the OR right now. So right now is uh, where all the setup is and all the uh, surgery will be performed. So as you see, there's a, a place where we set up all the, the camera guys and all the videos recording. We can go directly to the room where you'll see the robot, which is uh, the new generation robot. If you come in, uh, you will see that uh, these are all 3D cameras. This is our robotic surgery OR, where we do our robotic surgery every day. What are the challenges of live surgery compared to, to normal surgery? On average, uh, the surgeons that we invite for live surgery are superlative surgeons. Uh, they are used to this kind of, uh, of events. But this is not only a surgeon point of view, there's also the team point of view, including the scrub nurses, uh, all the team, the technicians uh, that are not used to the surgeon language. Uh, it's really a challenge for the nurses, for instance, to communicate with the surgeon. So that's why uh, we have many people in the room, uh, uh, even a translator. How do you ensure that the care of the patient remains the same? Are there any challenges to the care of the patient between live surgery and normal surgery? We are actually giving them the chance to be operated by a very good surgeon. So I would say that we are taking uh, maximal care to our patients. And it, as you can imagine, it's like when you fly an airplane for the pilots, uh, there are one, two, three, and once everything is checked up, uh, then we start. Particularly when there is a live surgery, I would say that this is mandatory and absolutely 100% secure. EAU TV is brought to you from the 34th annual EAU Congress in Barcelona. And if you'd like to watch more things like this, then you can click on these videos here. And you can also subscribe for the very best in medicine, from psychology to urology, from gynecology to genetics.